What's up for discussion? Enjoying the view. Looking tasty in these new breaches, ain't I? Proper stylish, ain't they? Nicked them off this dwarf we're cooking. It's good meat, if you can get it. And better than bloody chicken, anyhow. Shame he was as poor as a chicken. Nothing in his pants except a couple of coins and some lousy poem. Sure you can. But I look's all you're getting. For all I know, this little roaster was some famous bard. And you'll be sending his last words for a pretty penny. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Really? Oh, shit! You might as well use it as bog roll then. I'll get back to tending the meat. Oh, did I? Nothing. What's a tick got to be said about? If you ain't got the guts to get branded, clear off. Oof, priestess got you good. That's a lovely bit of work. Praise the absolute. Flumps and owlbears and squiddies. I've never seen nothing like you. You're wanting a clubbing and drum.
What's hiding here? That might be worth a look. No traps, please. Having a drink. It's all the sweeter when it's free, isn't it? Where the hell do you get yours? From an inn. Nutty, of course. You won't find much there now. Took all the good stuff before we burned it.
You look like you got something jingling in your pocket. Looking to spend it? Nicked him off the dead, didn't I? Get moving. I've got other customers. Boy, who took these two right? Could have killed him. Easy. No, I didn't want to. I figured I'd give him to the drought. We're going to keep the absolute happy. <laughs> you look like you think you're wild. Mess with us, and you'll end up like this bleeder. It's as good a reason as any, I suppose. I ain't bothered about it. Better off without them. Stupid old geezers should have part more of a fight. Don't mean we can't enjoy putting the boot into this prick a stick, though. I'll be a big old. What do you call a trash knickers? Big old boy. You could curdle warg milk with that ugly mug. Best be on my way. That's the that of it. Hey! Will do the trick. Mind, you know, and he raises his arm to magic again. So I grab his hand and crush him. That's a long word. The 
This ale tastes like hobgoblin spit. Who's been puking in the barrel? What's that? I think I heard the absolute voice just now. Hey. Well, now, nah. you look like a toughen. But have you got smarts, skills, guts? And you're gonna need it, mate. This ain't your standard dungeon dive, right? This... This is chicken chasing. <laughs> Only the greatest game since eggs sprouted legs, mate. You just gotta chase the chicken round the course and through the posts. But that ain't all. Gotta do it quick and alone. Any of your mates step in, you lose. Time runs out, you lose. Sound easy? It ain't. Better contenders than you have been breasted by the bird. No skin off my ass. Just remember, you had the chance to be a part of something grand, and you walked away. got the better of them. They're practically unconscious. Oh, the heck! My head hurts bad! You crash about like a drunken ogre! Oh, rip your tongue! Break your legs. Make you quiet. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. about like a drunken ogre. Oh, rip your tongue. Break your legs. Make you quiet. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority.
Seems like a good moment to talk. You don't have permission to be here. You're about to be ejected. Congratulations, you've convinced them to give you access. Now what? Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Nothing for you in there, mate. Wouldn't go in there. Lest you fancy blowing your bones all the way to Boulder's Gate. Unless you like big, bristling, hairy legs, I wouldn't go down there, mate. That's the spider pit. Another outsider come to see the boss? <laughs> Mind your manners now, or he'll throw you in the pit. Blackest blade, a geich. Nothing. Must be reading it wrong. Suga no sukuk. The hobgoblin turns to you, and the parasite squirms in your skull. Dragonborn. You taste the ale on his tongue and the bile in his soul. The visions cloud your inner eye for a brief moment once again. You see the hobgoblin 
bowing before the armored elf you'd glimpsed before. The elf speaks of the hunt for a great weapon, and the rewards that will go to whoever finds it. The hobgoblin's eyes gleam hungrily. Guess it doesn't matter what you are. You're a true soul. And that's good enough for me. He doesn't speak his next words, yet they still rattle your skull from within. You ever talk to a dead squid? Now's your chance. This Mind Flayer's build is smaller, its garb plainer. A fearsome creature even in death, but not the one that tormented you. Yet it too roamed the Nautiloid. It would have seen you, known you. Absolute says the dead Squiddy had a weapon. I reckon the killer nabbed it and scooted off to that looter camp. We find who killed it, and we find who took that weapon. So settle in. You feel Shadowheart's anxiety. The weapon the Absolute seeks. It's the artifact that she carries. The same one that protected you as you entered the Goblin camp. Her mind focuses. Their suspicion cannot be aroused. They cannot discover that the weapon they seek is within their grasp. Your skull sizzles with Ragslin's displeasure. His mouth is still, but you hear his demand. I speak for the Absolute, and I say, you stay. I've got plans for you, boy. And there's no true soul yet who turned their back on the Absolute. You choke on black smoke as the hobgoblin bellows his incantation. I command you, corpse. Speak and say sooth. Lucan Ock, al kol dek The hideous corpse rises, tentacles writhing. Your heart seizes, and are questioning the creature might recognize you as its killer. Ragslin's mind reels, then calms. He will speak as you command. With Ragslin's voice, you ask. Who is the Absolute? Ragslin frowns in confusion at a question he would never have asked. Then the creature speaks in visions. Curved drow blades, crude goblin torches, null teeth dripping blood. You see other mind flayers arranged in a serene circle. Absolute unity. Absolute power. Damn it! That tells me nothing! You feel Ragslin's suspicions. He'd never have asked about his master. You remain in control. Barely. Ragslin's mind is clouded by doubt, surprised once more by words he didn't expect. Again, visions flow through you. A swarm of Githyanki dragon riders, silver blades held high, 
control panels melting, flesh pots spilled open. Keith on the hunt. They know something. Suspicion floods Raxland's mind. Your brain howls as you force a final query into his throat. Why were the Gith chasing that ship? You see dark tunnels lit by noxious pools of brine. The darkness spreads through the earth. The sky splits open and nautiloids pour out of a void that consumes the stars. What in the...? The corpse collapses, silent once more. No, no! I'm not done! Riddles, all of it, and nothing to show for the trouble but rotting squid meat. No answers, no killer, and no damned weapon. <sighs> the damned trow was right. Can't let her get all of that glory. Like I said, I got plans for you. Report to the trow. Minsar is the name. She's mounting an attack on that blasted grove. Tell her you'll join her. Say that again. Cause I know I didn't just hear you refuse the absolute. in line. Just what I like to see. No prizes for guessing what this weapon thereafter really is. The artifact. A scrying eye. Best not do anything suspicious while it's watching. Your scouting party has not returned, and half of the intruders escaped your guards. Sorry, mistress. We mucked up. Until their sanctuary is found, I will take something precious from you every hour that passes. A trinket, a tongue, a limb. I ain't no use without my worms. The lads will make the prisoner squeal soon enough. I swear. Silence now, creature or I will silence you forever. As she turns to you, her thoughts mingle with yours. A cold hand caressing your brain. The chamber melts away to reveal a dark, endless nowhere. In it, you see a vision. The drow listens as a pale-eyed young woman whispers in her ear. One of those the voice spoke of, one of the chosen. The vision fades away. A true soul? Praise be. Are you here to join my hunt? Why do you ask? Surely you feel the Absolute moving through me, just as I feel her in you. Now, you must hunt with me. In her name. Interesting. What do you know of this druid? Orders? From whom? This is my command, and if you were sent here, I would have been told to expect you. Here are your new orders. The druid makes his home in a nearby sanctuary, where his followers worship a false god. I intend to find it and destroy it. There is a weapon the Absolute seeks. I'm sure those wretches have it hidden away there. 
We will find it amongst the dead and the ashes. Her excitement is palpable. She lingers on thoughts of victory, of unbelievers' blood spilled, and of the weapon. She will seize it in the Absolute's name. She is seeking the grove you visited. Already you feel her mind closing around yours. My patience wears thin, true soul. The hunt must begin. Destroying it will demonstrate our power. Soon, all false gods will cower before the Absolute. I would expect nothing less. Together, we shall burn it to the ground. And when we destroy the trappings of this false god, the Absolute will reward us with such power. One, we captured a human who knows exactly where it is. He's been resilient, but he'll talk. Excellent. Be sure not to kill him before he talks. I used to carry the powder kegs. These pariahs, they're prepared. Anything of use? Something good here, I hope. to put my hands on everything. Free. For now.
described in the dwarf's poem. How many did you have? Five. Oh, that's nothing. This is gonna be my night. Oh, you can't cut you, Lord Spring. up for discussion. That's a lot word. Oi! Watch you don't spill my beer, or I'll cut ya. This is a nightmare. Damn, it keeps on for a good while after this. Both the goblins aren't smart enough to poison their blood. Our time grows short. If Korga won't abandon her madness, then we'll have to try the road, goblins or no. What is it? Some artifact Aradin was hunting. I don't know any more than that, and I don't want to. This grove is poorer for losing Helsin, but I have my own people's concerns to look to. 
We are refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after gnolls and goblins attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. The High Overseer, our Grand Protector, signed a pact with devils. It dragged Elturel straight to hell. Lucky for us, a group of adventurers found a way to bring the city back. Afterwards, people looked at us and just saw Devilkin. No different from the druids here, really. Our time grows short. If Korga won't abandon her mad, these are civilians. Open battle would be a massacre. So, Korga's twisted your mind as well. Please, just listen. Sending us out there is a death sentence. But there is another way. If you want to turn your blade on anyone, turn it on the goblins. You won't be able to cut them all down. There's a horde of them out there. But they're ill-disciplined. It's unusual for them to organize so cleverly. Somebody must be leading them, bringing discipline to their ranks. Take out that leadership, and they'll scatter. It's no small thing to ask, but I've seen you fight. You're equal to the task. Everyone in this camp depends on it. Thank you. We'll be ready to leave as soon as you give word. Just Zevlor, Tilly. We're civilians now, remember. With respect, sir, being a Hellrider is polite. They can't take... They can, and did. for the absolute or any god i follow two masters only gluttony and greed the 
goblins understand my appetites. They sate my hunger for gold. And the rest sate my hunger for meat. Boss Goblin give gold. We check brand. Good deal. No talk. Am I not astonishing? A robust diet makes for a shrewd mind, you see. I am a gourmand. And you, a delicacy. Were I so lucky? I am, by all accounts, a student of higher commerce and extortion. Make me an offer. Tempt me. Ocean and a boon to my aching belly. We have a deal, my tasty kibble. Take my bone horn. One blow and the ground will quake with my family name. Use it when the need arises and never a moment before. Ogre kill everyone around, then Ogre eats them. Well spoken. Indeed. Ogre, kill everyone around. We follow the scents of blood and gold to all lands fertile, friend. And this land proves particularly fruitful. We will keep close. When you are ready, sound the horn. Worth a look. Trust me. Still, do you have someone waiting for you in Baldur's Gate, Astari? A sweetheart, perhaps? Not. One in particular. The city is a veritable feast. You must be eager to get back then. Slim of this wilderness. With haste. Go on. More of us inside. Please, we just want Marina back. Shadow. Such Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see Marina. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. Stop this. We... We won't ask again. Careful. Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? Sweetie, be careful! He, he's with the hag! Don't bloody stand there gaping! Get him! Make it hurt. Ah! Good. 
Again. I am fury. I am death. My stars! I... I didn't mean for this to happen. Those poor boys were looking for their little sister, Marina. The girl who is... staying with me. This is all my fault. But I made a promise. Marina begged me not to breathe the word if they came looking for her. And my word is my bond. Thing would be distraught. We can't let her know it would break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. I'm with helpless old ladies. Was that normal? Light on my feet. Let's have a look. Breathe madness. Quickly then. Take you, you got to press on. Take you. you. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Have a lot on my mind. And, well, in it. One day I'll catch a break. What's in here? Hmm. 
Take you. Got to keep moving. Sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. <laughs> Wheezing, the sheep backs away. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Have to keep going. Seems like a good moment to talk. <clears throat> ah, stranger. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. An old hunter's trick. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. You're a monster hunter? I'm surprised. I thought all girl were vagrant cutthroats. A mystical and dangerous people. We travel the land, never settling in one place. We steal your chickens, curse your crops, seduce your daughters. Your friend here has heard it all, I'm sure. I wish I had half the power settled folk think my people possess. Alas, I am a simple wanderer. A simple wanderer and monster hunter. But I'm no witch doctor or cutthroat. Something terrifying, no doubt. Dragon? Cyclops? Kobold? Nothing so dramatic. I'm hunting for a vampire spawn. I fear he's gone to ground. I hope the hag of these lands can help me flush him out, if I can afford her blood price. A vampire spawn? Why? Just so. Vampires are godless parasites. We do not need a reason to destroy them. But in this case, it is a sacred mission from the head of my tribe. She sent me here to capture the beast and return it to her. Capture? And bring it where? Baldur's Gate. My people wait for me there. Under all the smiles, you can feel Astarian's tension. 
He's coiled like a spring, hand inching towards his weapon. At night, of course. Beyond that, I will say no more. There are some trade secrets we cannot share. <laughs> How sensible. We should go, but you have fun tracking your monster. No, uh, I mean, <laughs> we have different quests. I wouldn't want to distract this fellow from his path any more than he'd want to lead us from ours. The elf is right. I have my own road to walk. A road that leads me straight to a hag's den, alas. But I wish you well. Be safe. Might be useful. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Oh, if it isn't my hero. You took ages. Come in, come in. Feel free to relax yourself and have a cuppa. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Hmm? You're quite right, Petal. Forgive me if I get a bit sharp. My work wears something awful on me. You see, I help people from all over Faerun. And you, Petal, well, you need a lot of help. That wriggler swimming in your brain juice is a bit of an inconvenience, isn't it? Because you stink. And I know the stench of mind flare anywhere. I can tell you're almost done cooking. You know, you could turn just like that. What do you say? Want me to take care of the little bugger? My, I do like them eager. But know that I don't work for free. I expect payment up front. One of your pretty little peepers. I pluck it from your head. Kiss it for luck. Then back in it goes. Won't take but a moment. That is my price. Nothing more, nothing less. I'm afraid that's my business, Petal. It's nothing nefarious, though. I promise. A touch, but sure you've two eyes in your skull, don't you? No need to be precious. Glorious. 
One moment. And she needs her real nails for this. one at that. Not many get to see a hag in all her glory. Consider yourself blessed. Now choose which eye will it be, right or left. Hold on to your knickers. This might sting a bit. So bad, was it? That color suits you. No, unless you want tentacles for a tongue, stay absolutely still. I've removed one of these buggers before, but it's a touch tricky. The parasite squirms at the hag's words. Pain builds behind your eye. You feel the creature writhe as it's dragged towards your ear. Then it bites back, burrowing even deeper into your brain. God's damn wretched! You little shit! You didn't tell me it was netherese! I'm not touching that! Filthy shadow magic brings nothing but chains and misery. How could I have missed that stink? Like blood and piss congealing on my tongue. Look, someone's tampered with your parasite. That's likely why you've not turned yet. I can! But that thing has been touched by more than mind flayers. You're a dead soul walking. I can't help you. you for that. But why deny your regular the pleasure? But let it not be said that Auntie Ethel doesn't honor her debts. Here, it's on you to fix yourself. Now get out! Come now, Marina. Time to go. I can just walk into home. Bye-bye, lovely. This better and better. inside. There's nothing. <laughs> 